Dropper posts are awesome and have definitely changed mountain bikes for the best. Unfortunately, some stock bikes and even some aftermarket dropper posts come with a pretty chintzy and unergonomic dropper post lever to make the dropper post go up and down. Luckily, a couple of brands have created dropper post levers that mimic the feeling of the shifter on the right side of the handlebar to keep your cockpit feeling symmetrical and super ergonomic. One of those brands being PNW Components who have created one of our favorite dropper post levers on the market, the Loam Lever. Have they created the best dropper post lever on the market? Stay tuned and we'll let you know what we think. What's up guys, I'm Mike from The Losco. Now I've been running the PNW Components Loam Lever on my personal bike for several months now. And to be honest, I thought it was pretty gimmicky at first. Coming off of the Wolf Tooth Remote Lever, which was in our opinion, the only aftermarket dropper post lever to consider, which is a simple black CNC lever body with a sealed cartridge bearing and some knurling cut into the end to give you some grip on your thumb. So when taking a look at the PNW Loam Lever, it looks like it's basically the same thing, but with a rubber colored thumb pad on the end. So our initial reaction was that just another small component Components company came out with a look-alike to the Wolf Tooth Remote, but with a rubber colored thumb pad. However, I did decide to run the Loam Lever on my new bike build because we had a bunch of customers come into the store that purchased the Loam Lever from us and told us how much that they liked it. While I was building up my bike and put the Loam Lever on, I initially thought, man, that looks really, really nice. It matches my bike perfectly, but I had no idea that I would actually love how this thing feels after riding it for a couple months. Well, here we are six months later and we've expanded our top one dropper post lever to consider to our top two dropper post levers to consider. So let's take a look at the PNW Components Loam Lever. So PNW Components is a small hard goods company based just south of us down in Seattle, Washington. They're best known for their line of dropper posts, so you know they've put quite a bit of thought into their dropper post levers. This is actually one really cool thing about the mountain bike industry right now is that there's a bunch of small players stepping into the game and actually making some components that work really, really well and aren't just totally gimmicky. Since PNW is obviously based out of the Pacific Northwest, just like we are, they know that it's super rainy and muddy here most of the time that we're riding our bikes. And their overall goal with the loam lever was to create a dropper post lever that was smooth all year long, no matter how much it got pounded with water. The lever body is fully CNC'd and comes in this cool gunmetal gray color, and inside of that is a pretty large sealed cartridge bearing to give the lever actuation a super smooth feel. Plus, that cartridge bearing is sealed up nice and tight, so water doesn't make its way inside, meaning that this lever is ready to be ridden in the rain and mud, and washed right after ride. When looking at this thing, the most obvious part of it is that injection molded rubber thumb pad. At first, we all thought that that rubber thumb pad was gonna be slippery when wet, but we were all just straight up wrong. The rubber is super soft and tacky and keeps your thumb in control while you're either riding in the rain or you're just super hot and sweaty and riding without gloves. And even though the rubber is super soft, mine hasn't shown any wear and tear after using it for about six months. The Loam Lever is also available in a whole bunch of different colors and sometimes they've got limited edition colors. So that means that you can match pretty much any color of any bike that you're building. When it comes to nice aftermarket dropper post levers, adjustability is key and the Loam Lever has tons of that. First off, you can adjust the side to side position to be able to both avoid hitting your thumb on it, but also to sit exactly where your thumb naturally extends to. And second, there's a small set screw on the back of the lever body so you can adjust how far the lever sits forward or backward, meaning you can tuck it under the bar if you'd like. This is actually the only dropper post lever on the market with this adjustment. The length of the lever itself is pretty perfect in regards to how much cable it pulls. It's not too long, not too short, and overall just feels really good. I'm running the Fox transfer post and it actuates this thing as perfect as possible. The lever body uses a three millimeter clamp bolt which clamps the cable down at the body. This means that the loam lever is compatible with pretty much every cable actuated dropper post in existence and it's super easy to install. For mounting, the loam lever is offered in a 22.2 millimeter bar clamp mount with a hinge, so you don't need to remove your grip and brake lever to install. Or integrated mounts are available for both SRAM Matchmaker and Shimano iSpec2 or Shimano EV mounts. PNW keeps their packaging super minimal, so everything is recyclable, which also includes a Jaguar cable inside. This is sweet because most dropper post levers don't include one in the box. The PNW Components Loam Lever sells for 69 bucks. If you click this link right here, you'll go over to the product page on our website at thelostco.com, order one of these bad boys up, and we'll give you free shipping if you're in the USA. What do you guys think about the Loam Lever? Let us know in the comments below this video. Until next time, happy trails!